There are big questions this morning after the U.S. military lost track of a Marines of a Marine F-35 fighter jet in flight. Now, it vanished after the pilot ejected, and it wasn't found until after it crashed. The Marines are pausing all flight operations for two days. Christina Ruffini has more. The Marine Corps says a mishap caused a pilot to eject from an F-35 fighter jet like this one over South Carolina Sunday night. While the pilot was quickly and safely recovered, the almost $80 million aircraft built to evade detection did just that and went MIA. Officials with Joint Base Charleston say they're still looking for a fighter jet. At one point, Joint Base Charleston even asked the public for help, looking for any information to help recovery teams, as air traffic data from Flight 24 shows other planes apparently searching for the rogue F-35. Crews eventually found the crash site Monday night, but how does one of the world's most advanced aircrafts go missing? It's a bit of a mystery, but this is uh, very much a one-off event. Admiral James Winifield is a former vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The F-35 is a very stealthy airplane, so it's possible that if the aircraft was doing simulated air combat against another airplane, once inside the restricted area, the pilot could have turned off that identification system that all aircraft use in controlled airspace in order to prevent his or her adversary that afternoon um, from finding him. Following the F-35 mishap, the Marine Corps announced it will temporarily shut down aviation operations, also citing two other incidents, the death of an F-18 pilot in San Diego during an August training flight and the recent deaths of three Marines in an Osprey crash in Australia. After a string of incidents, you would find uh, that the senior leadership would order a safety stand down to try to see if there's any consistent theme behind these accidents that, that could be uh, nipped in the bud. A spokesperson says the pilot was taken to the hospital in stable condition. The Marine Corps is investigating the incident, but hasn't provided any details into what exactly caused the mishap with the F-35. Anne-Marie. So, Christina, two things about this story when it broke. I was like, how can you have an $80 million plane go missing? And then I was really surprised that the Marines had gone public with it and asked for the public's help. So how rare are both of those things? Uh, I think pretty rare. I've I've never seen an all call for you know an eighty million dollar air jet uh, aircraft before. I've got like an Apple Air Tag that the Marine Corps <laughs> could borrow. Um, but look, as you as you heard our experts say, these are these are aircrafts that have uh, detection deference capabilities. They are designed to be stealthy. Although mm. stealth capability is a, is a different thing. Um, and if they were trying to avoid detection when the pilot ejected, the autopilot systems could theoretically have kept going and made it hard to find on radar. But it still seems, you know, difficult uh, to fathom that just a couple hours outside of Charleston, a very populated area, there was a rogue F-35 flying around. And, you know, it's lucky that the pilot ejected safely and it's lucky that the, the jet came down over an unpopulated area. It yeah. could have been a lot worse. So I know the Marines are sort of investigating, trying to figure out how this all happened, but why are they pausing flight operations? Because they've had this string of what they call Category A crashes, and that's a crash that causes over, I think it's $2 million worth of damage. These are very serious crashes, and look, this one didn't have a loss of life, but the other two did, the, the one in San Diego and the Osprey crash in Australia not too long ago, and it's just a pause to kind of review operations and make sure they're using best practices, especially in training operations. You want to make sure if someone is not in a combat theater that they're as safe as they possibly can be and they don't want to see these planes coming down and they don't want to see these pilots getting hurt or killed. Mm -hmm. So they're taking a moment, they're taking a breath and they're going to review to make sure they're doing everything they can to make sure this doesn't happen again. All right, Christina Ruffini, thank you.